Alright guys, welcome to another beer review and uh, today we're going over to North and this is a collaboration with Brewery de Molen and this is a can of their Triple XK Mild at 8.5% ABV There we go, you all know I love a nice pint of mild now but this is definitely going to put hers on your chest Don't know if it's supposed to be like a amped up version of a mild but there's a description so I'm going to read it so, Brood Celebrate De, uh, De Bruff's Buffet, Buffet's Festival. Wow, great reading, Peter. Um, the brief tradition, the strong-ish ale has its roots stretching back to the 1700s. Um, the beer roasts, boasts, oh my God, Peter. The beer boasts 100% mild ale malt and 18 grams per litre of East Kent Goldings in the early boil, bringing aromas of vanilla and sweet oak with bold, rich, bruised fruit flavours. So, I think it is uh, supposed to be like an adult version of a mild, one of my favourite sort of... Um, drinks and I think a lot more breweries should do them but I won't get on that diatribe again so yeah big fan of North and I've not drank enough of Demolin to really form a proper opinion I've had some interest in beers but there have been one or two where it's like quite disappointing but yeah pick this up from Beer Moth so let's get this poured and see what we get and now they drop the glass then so beer and a glass well it's certainly pouring like a um, a nice mild wood. So we'll give that a swell, pour it all in. Nice big snot bubble there. So look at that head. Lovely stuff. So beer in the glass then and that's a really nice sort of a brownie colour. Nice and deep. There's maybe a very subtle sort of like ruby hue to it. A uh, beer poured for about two things worth of a soft beige looking creamy head. Looks really nice and inviting. So let's see what we get on the nose. And it smells like a mild. Um, there's no detection at all of the ABV on this. It smells like a really multi fruity, like dark fruity, like 3.5% mild. There's like molasses in there as well. I suppose there's like a slight syrupiness which would dictate the alcohol. I know dictate's not the right word in that context, but bear with me, folks. Yeah, there's like a slight mould character to it. That's M-U-L-L-E-D, not M-O-U-L-D, by the way. Because I've realised I can't speak properly a lot of the time. It's a bit of an oaky woodiness there. A little bit of slight char, but it smells exactly like I would expect a mild to smell. Just I can't believe that you're not getting any of that ABV. So let's see, as I choke on phlegm, what it tastes like. Cheers. That's that's. I was going to say that's wonderful. That's wonderful. It really, really is. Lovely, creamy mouthfeel. There's a bitterness on the back end. There's a slight woodiness. You definitely get that East Kent Golden Pop in there. I mean, it's jam-packed full of flavour, and there is some, speaking of jam, some slight jammy tones in there as well. Loads of woodiness, I would say. There's even like a slight peated smoke character in there as well. ABV creeps up on the back end, I would say, but still. There's no way on this earth you would think that this is an 8% beer. Or 8.5% 8 8 beer. Yeah, it takes those wonderful robust flavours of a mild and just amps it up and adds a little bit of like a slight barrel character like a charred barrel character to it even though I don't think there is any it's just just jam full of malts and um, a big dose of East Kent Goldings 
it's even got that slight English strong gale character. And it tastes very, very British, whatever the fuck that means. But, um, yeah, get yourself a cheese on toast with Henson's relish. Put on your flat cap. Watch that man from Bolton who climbed up chimneys, Fred Willard or something like that, I can't remember. I should know that, considering I don't live too far from Bolton. I used to really love that programme. Yeah, this is a this is a beer to sit down with Northwest tonight too. After chippy tea, even though I've got um, chicken and wedges. Don't think it's going to pair too well with that, but hey, yeah, beer's beer and food's food. I like both, as you can clearly see. So, um, yeah, this is really nice. I didn't know what to expect, um, but it surprised me. I mean, I knew I'd enjoy it because it's mild, but... And that's all those characters I love about the style, but it's just amped up and it's got like a sense of like maturity to it. So in terms of a rating, I'm going to give this um, a 9 out of 10 for the XXXK Mild 8.5% brewed in collaboration by North Bruco, Brunco and Guthrie de Molen. If you've tried it, let me know your thoughts opinions down below. Who the fuck watches the one show, by the way? And uh, yeah, gorgeous artwork as you expect from North. And um, yeah, I could happily have a few cans of that. Really, really good. Lovely stuff indeed. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, I hopefully you'll join me next time for <coughs> another beer review. Cheers, folks. You'll take care.